morning everybody and welcome back to my channel i hope you guys all are doing super well let me just put this in here my sink is dripping <laughs> but good morning i'm filming a little day in my life video today kind of like getting my life together kind of shindig so <laughs> I really want to, well I need to go to the grocery store, but I also don't want to get too much stuff because I'm leaving for Mexico with Aiden next Tuesday, like literally in one week. So I don't want to buy too much food because I don't want any of it to go bad. Also apologize, my dishwasher, I just turned it on. Um, but yeah, I went to yoga this morning, almost missed the class because I accidentally set my alarm for PM instead of AM. So... Thank God Millie woke me up by staring into my soul. Um, so she revived me and I made it <laughs> to yoga in time, thankfully. I just finished having my coffee and my breakfast. It was really good. I had two eggs and I also had an oatmeal cup. And then I had my coffee, it was really delicious. My hair is just drying right now. I can't decide. I feel like I should probably blow dry it. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm just lazy, but I'm gonna blow dry it, get ready, and then we're gonna get into today just getting a bunch of errands and productivity stuff done that i want to get done i'm thinking about possibly bringing up the bins with my fall clothes in them upstairs because i do want to do that before i leave for mexico just because by the time we come back it'll be october so might as well bring out the fall wardrobe though apparently we're supposed to have a warm october so i don't think i'll be wearing a lot of jackets or anything like that but i'm sure i'll still be wearing the sweaters and jeans etc etc so i kind of want to get that organized and yeah my forehead's looking super shiny because i started using a liquid exfoliator on it because i think i told you guys previously i was getting like clogged little pores on my forehead so i started using the oh my god what is it called now i'm forgetting it's like famous i feel like everyone uses this one or talks about it the paula's choice exfol exfoliate 2% BHA so I've been applying that just on my forehead basically where I have the little clogged pores in the hopes that it'll get rid of those so so far it seems pretty good my skin's not like sensitive to it or anything like that so I'm liking it I'm liking it it's pretty good I also need to put away a lot of laundry okay I'm sorry about this lighting me switching all over the place <laughs> <laughs> into different rooms is not doing well for the lighting situation but yeah I need to go through everything that is the game plan <laughs> I think first of all I'm just gonna blow dry my hair to get that done with and then I'll have to get get going with today I'm about to head out to run and get my groceries I actually just let my hair air dry and I think it turned out pretty cute but I'm just waiting. Okay, Millie going into her grave. Are you gonna go in? Maybe? <laughs> but I'm just wearing this really comfy casual outfit. This is like my go-to fall style moving forward. It's just like comfortable and cute. Casual, just my vibe. So tank top is Aritzia, cardigan is Aritzia, jeans are the Levi dad jeans. They're so comfortable. I got a size 24 and I love them. They're like roomy in the right places, <laughs> but I'm just going to run and get my groceries for the week. I need to look at my fridge first actually to figure out what I need, but I'm not going to get too much stuff. I want to get some like soups and stuff because it's supposed to cool down a bit this week, go down to like 18, 19 for a couple days. And I love a cozy soup. So I might try and get like a lentil soup something like that for the week and yeah and then just some eggs i feel like and some bread and that's it not a lot <laughs> because i don't want to overstock on food i also just need some more fruit because mine um i ate all of it so yeah i'm gonna head to the grocery store get the stuff that i need to get and then head on back and then i want to start i might go down to my storage locker and find my fall clothes to bring up will probably weigh like 300 pounds so that's great um but yeah i want to bring those up start going through my stuff what i'm gonna bring from mexico and what i'm gonna just pack now all of it's gonna end up going down to storage but I'm just gonna start going through everything and yeah let's go to the grocery store oh that looks like a comfortable place to nap millie <laughs> Oh, 
haul of everything that I picked up at the grocery store. So I just got some whole grain sandwich bread, Honeycrisp apples, tomatoes. This is my favorite oat milk for coffee. I really like this one. And then I also got regular milk for tea or anything else that I wanna use milk with. I got some more eggs, just a little six pack, blackberries, a pizza. I got some baby kale for green smoothies. I wanna start making like a green smoothie in the morning. So baby kale, bananas for the smoothie. I also picked up this protein just to try it for the smoothie. It's a natural vanilla flavor. It's like a clean plant protein. It's got zero sugar and no stevia, which is cool. So I got that. Then I got a bunch of soups like I told you guys I wanted to do. So I got a bunch of the Amy's Organic. They're like one of my favorites, they're so good. So I got the Alphabet, Fire Roasted Southwestern Vegetable, Lentil Vegetable and Vegetable Barley. Then I got two tomato and rice soups. These are really good as well. I got some more black pepper because I was running out. For pasta, I just got some more of the um, chickpea pasta. This one is really good. Like, I really enjoy this one. So I got it in the penne and also in the spirals. Then I just got some tomatoes, a cucumber, strawberries, um, blueberries, two bags of chips. I'm trying this flavor, I've never had that one actually. Lime and black pepper, so we'll see how that is. They also had this in stock and this was like my favorite thing ever. For my lips, it really helps them when they're super dry. So I picked up another one of these. These are just so good to keep in your bathroom, to put anywhere that you have like dry, irritated skin. Um, anytime I have like any sort of dermatitis pop up, I'll put this on it as well. And it's really great for helping with the moisture. So I got some of this, some bacon. And then for Millie, I got her two bully sticks and a new chuck it stick because she chewed her other one in half. So. I got her a new one. I usually keep this just in my dog walking fanny pack. And a lot of times on my walks, I'll stop and play fetch with her for a bit. So I love these and they're nice because they have the holes. So it helps them breathe while they're carrying the stick back to you, which is good. So yeah, that's everything that I picked up. Look at my little affirmation for today. I always stop to smell the roses, love that. So I'm gonna put all of this away and clean out my fridge. And then I'm gonna make myself some lunch this afternoon before I get into any sort of organizing cleaning situation. So I just brought out my first bag of clothes that I had in storage. I found two little pumpkins, which I'm definitely gonna put out when I start decorating for fall soon. So I have these two and also this pumpkin harvest candle that smells really good. Aiden got this for me like a year ago. Um, and then we have some like fall clothing items here. It's so just some more like sweaters, some skirts. Like I have this little cute skirt here. This plaid one I've had for so long and I still love it. It's from Fashion Nova actually, it's really nice. And then a pair of fall pajamas. And then these are just a bunch of like sweat shirts that I really like. like this one from Abercrombie is really cute. Love this one. I loved this one last winter a lot. I know it's a little bit out there, but I like loved it. This sweater I've had for like two years now. Love it still. Love these ones. This one from Zara is such a classic, like this soft gray color. This one I've had for a bit. I don't know if I want to just part ways with it. I like, like it, but I don't like love it. I don't feel like I wear it enough, but then at the same time, I'm like, it's kind of cool and it's neutral. It's got shoulder pads, which is fun. And then also some shoes. I just have some boots that were in storage that I brought out. Then this is like a knit bodysuit top. I have like a dress here from Abercrombie. And then this like green button up shirt that's from Lovers and Friends. So some fall items. I also had some stuff that I decided to part ways with, which I put back into the bag, which will be for donation or giving to my cousin but yeah we're just kind of slowly going through all of the fall items because there's some stuff that obviously i wouldn't want to keep wearing and then other stuff that i still love so you just kind of have to go through everything and make your way through it and find the stuff worth keeping and the stuff that you're going to donate there's a lot downstairs too there's like three four bags i'm like why is there so much
current state <laughs> of my bedroom. Literally a complete disaster. So that's most of my fall winter clothes, but I'm still going through them. Like I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep everything here. Clearly, where would it go? Um, so we're going through this. This is my summer clothes that I've put away. I have kept obviously some stuff, like I have clothes that I can still wear when it's warm out, like shorts and stuff. And I kind of put aside what I'm gonna bring to Mexico with me. So right now I'm just going through this and deciding what to keep. But these are like my new-ish fall purchases, which obviously I'm keeping, I love. All these items are such good like staple, neutral pattern items. So I love those. And now I'm kind of just going through these and seeing which ones are worth keeping and which ones are not worth keeping. <laughs> And hopefully it'll end up looking like less of a disaster by the time I'm done with it. Cause right now this is just stressing your girl out. Okay, it's too much going on. Way too much going on. Pretty good progress so far. My closet is looking slightly more organized. So I have my skirts down here. This is like pants and then tank tops in a pile. Gym clothes, not looking the best. Sweats, again, could be folded. Jeans, but my knit sweaters are looking really good. I like organized this whole side. So I just have like all of my knits here. And then these are like other sweater kind of shirts, tops. And then down here I have like button ups and then here will be like sweatshirts. I just have some in the wash that I need to take out. And that's basically the vibe over here on this side. I just have my fall dresses, sweater dresses, blazers. That's the stuff from Mexico, which is pretty organized. And then, so these two I need to bring down to my storage locker basically my spring summer clothes to all go in and then everything else is looking quite organized so I'm very happy with how this is looking I still have to get the stuff in the dryer which I'm hoping isn't like too much I'm literally sweating now from doing that like who thought organizing my closet would be such a workout I honestly have no plans to buy any more clothes <laughs> I feel like I'm good don't need to buy any more clothes all winter to be honest because my closet is already overflowing. I have everything that I want. I do have a couple items from Abercrombie that I already got that I want to show you guys in a different video. But other than that, I'm done. Like I'm not ordering anything else. I feel like everything's done at this point. <laughs> my closet is full. I have the shoes that I want. I'm good. So yeah, I'm excited about my closet and I'm sweating. <laughs> and I have to bring these freaking giant things down to my storage locker. And I'm dreading it because it's so freaking heavy and exhausting to do it. And I'm just not in the mood. So might have to put that off until a bit later because I just don't feel, I just really don't feel like doing it right now. It might have to be a this evening activity. I think right now I'm just going to put away the clothes in the dryer first. Make sure that's all good. And then feed and walk Millie and then make dinner. And then, and then if I'm feeling like I have the energy... <laughs> I will bring all that stuff down to my storage locker because I'm just like, uh, not excited. <laughs> back from walking Millie and I'm gonna cook dinner now so I'm gonna make this Sicilian chicken pasta with sun-dried tomato sauce I'm literally starving so I'm very excited to have this we're gonna go through all the steps make it enjoy it I'll probably watch something on Netflix while I eat this and yeah dinner time much 
better than it was earlier today. I put the bin downstairs in my storage locker. Now everything is looking nice and decluttered. I mean, I still have a ton of stuff, but like way better than it was. And I love that everything's pretty neutral. There's not really much that I need, honestly. The only thing that I would probably get is just a black knit sweater. I didn't have, I had one of those, but I ended up, um, I'm gonna give it probably to my mom or something. I didn't like it, it had like a bow that tied around the waist part, like a tie, and I never liked it. I didn't like how it paired with things, and I'd rather just get a different one. So right now, this is what we're working with, but I'm very happy that everything is nice and organized. And now I'm literally exhausted. That was so much heavy lifting for me, carrying that all the way up and down to my storage locker, which is like down in parking. So it was, it was a lot. I'm sweating and I'm ready to go to bed. Honestly, ready to crawl in, crawl into bed and um, do a good old nap -a -rooney. nap -a -rooney. sleep, not nap, pure sleep. <laughs> oh. I'm excited. Hey, and then tomorrow we're gonna go to the gym, right? now I am so cozy and comfy and I cannot wait to sleep I'm so excited that I have my fall clothes in my closet even though it's like still too warm to wear them I'm just happy that they're in there because it's like my favorite season and my favorite fashion I love I live for knit sweaters oh hi let me know in the comments down below if you have your fall clothes out yet are they in your closet do you have all your sweaters out let me know in the comments if you guys get a cold fall where you live or if it's warm. Because I know that there's so many people from all over that watch my videos and it'd be really cool to see where you guys are from. Like if you guys get an actual like cold fall like we have in Canada or if it's like warm all year where you are. If it's warm where you are, do you still wear knit sweaters anyway just because you want to feel the vibe? Because I would. I would. <laughs> I would do that. But yeah, me and Millie are gonna head to bed. I'm still reading The Fellowship of the Ring. It's gotten like really good. It's just, I'm just slowly reading it because I read it before bed and then I get tired and fall asleep. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to read this while I have my coffee. I'm saying that oath to myself. I'm going to do it because I need to and it'll, I need to get this done. <laughs> I need to get this done, especially before Mexico because I'm not bringing this. I'm not, it's too big. Look at Millie sleeping, she's so funny. But yeah, I'm gonna get on reading this. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye!